analysis of variance video number two. Our objectives for this video we're going to demonstrate the sums of squares as extensions of the deviation score. We're going to define sums of squares as a component of variance. So deviation score should be familiar to you by now. These are deviations of or distances from the mean. So how far is score x from the mean? Here we have x sub i minus x bar, which is any given value for x in our data, minus the mean. So we see the example 1, where x equals 2, and the mean is 4, our deviation score will be negative 2. And for example 2, where x equals 7, and the mean is 4, our deviation will be positive 3. deviation score we can think of as a form of standardization. We're taking our data and we're centering it around the mean, which is effectively centering it around zero. It's a, a shift of parameter based on the mean. So if our mean is three, and we have the following five pieces of data, y equals one, two, three, four, and five, then we would take one minus three and so on down the road for each value of y, our deviation scores would be as follows, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. One could take all of those deviation scores and sum them up. This is actually a useful check to see if you've done your deviation scores correctly, as it should always equal 0. In order to get a positive value, one of the tricks you could say that we do in statistics is we square those scores. Now we can sum the values of those squared deviations and have a positive value. So our squared deviation scores, if we go through and we square each deviation score, so we go through and I square the deviations for y. So for example, y equals 1, our mean was 3, our deviation score was minus 2. We square that value and get a 4. And you can see the squared values going down the list, 4, 1, 0, 1, 4. You can also sum those squares, and they will no longer be a value for 0. I'll have you recall that the numerator of variance is effectively the sum of square deviation scores. So we can see the summation of all of our y's, y, i, will be uh, y for each value, minus the mean, and we would take that and square it, and we would sum them down the rows, and we can get the sum of squared deviation scores. In analysis of variance, we're going to partition these deviation scores, the sum of deviation scores in different ways, to calculate different types of variances. So we're going to sum differently to partition in a one-way analysis of variance, we're going to partition between and within group variance. And this is central to the analysis of variant calculations and concepts. We can change uh, what we consider deviations as we go through and see different types of analyses of variance. And we'll see this more in later videos.